name's Kirk Larson from Marquette. Uh, just wanted to, I had lots to say, but a lot of it's already been touched on already. But I uh, just wanted to say I'm not opposed to mining or logging. But that 595 belt is something that you'll destroy forever. Uh -huh. Spend a night up there, one night, and listen, you don't hear anything. You put a road through there, you're going to hear nothing but Jake Rich and Harley Davidson. Believe you me. It'll change it for your kids, generations after generations. There's alternative routes. If you have to do it, take the least environmental impact route. Common sense, I mean, a 10 year old can see that. Mulligan is less impact than 595. Red Road's less impact than 595. Just use common sense and think about people. There's a lot of people who spend a lot of time up there and it's going to change forever. So just put some common sense, think about people who really enjoy the wilderness. Because it is a wilderness area. And if somebody gets hurt up there, that's a wilderness area. We're shooting at the That's all I have to say. Thanks. Good evening. Um, my name is Esteban Chiriboga, C-H-I-R-I-B-O-G-A. So, uh, it was a really good try though. Um, I work for the Great Lakes Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission, or a natural resource agency uh, that represents 11 Ojibwe tribes with federally recognized treaty rights in the area that uh, these uh, various alternatives for and my haul road have been proposed. Um, we have submitted several comments on various iterations, um, and our comments haven't really changed much from the initial Woodland Road proposal, because as articulated in the initial purpose and need statement, it is a mine haul road that connects the Eagle Mine to the Humboldt Mill. Um, there are certainly other uses that would occur on that road once it is built, but the purpose is to haul ore. Um, there are many uh, opinions about health, safety, and I certainly do not discount uh, any of those. Um, but we have to remember that this is a mine call road. It is not an ordinary road. There is extensive research and remediation activities occurring all across the country on mine haul roads that have polluted the corridor um, with nothing more than ore dust. This dust is highly reactive especially in an aquatic environment, um, like the one that, um, in particular, the, the initial preferred route by the applicant um, would take. Um, a very significant part of your decision, then, is to weigh the environmental costs and benefits um, of <coughs> this type of ore dust deposition. Um, in our comments, we've suggested uh, precedent set by the Red Dog Mine in Alaska, um, within the last couple of weeks, um, courts have determined that Clean Water Act violations have occurred at the Flambeau Mine, a former Kinnick, now closed Kennecott operation in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. um, the contamination at that site is due to truck tires, basically mud with traces of ore dust uh, at a parking lot. Um, that is one stream, one stream only. Uh, in this case, we're talking about 20 uh, over 20 crossings and additional wetlands. This is highly reactive environment. Um, it is very difficult to fix these problems once the ore dust is in the aquatic environment. We have not seen to date uh, clear, detailed articulation of these reasonable foreseeable impacts within uh, the states or the applicant's analysis. And uh, we suggest that uh, the objections by the EPA are prudent and that additional work and additional analysis ought to uh, guide any decisions that are made. Thank you.